I just really wanted to say thank you because without Finley, without the nurses and the doctors and everyone that was in there in that room, I don't think she'd be here today. Came in and I was put on monitors and they said that the baby's heart was decelling with every contraction and that my contractions were right on top of each other. Baby's heart rate did not look reassuring to us. And to the point that we couldn't wait on it, um, we couldn't do fluids to help it or repositioning. It was to the point that we needed to get the baby out. She wasn't breathing because I was waiting to hear that cry as soon as they cut me open and there was none. And then the people started coming in the room and I heard lots of yelling and they said code pink. And it just seemed like there was a nonstop swarm of doctors and nurses like walking past me and that's when I knew it was bad, right. that it was bad. She didn't have a heartbeat and there was no respiration efforts whatsoever. Um, no tone, poor color, no, no anything from her. She was basically um, at that point um, zero zero hours, so no life really. Um, they continued chest compressions um, for 18 minutes. It was torture. It was really torture because he's trying to explain to me the things that are happening and I don't I don't really understand it and I it's different when you're hearing it secondhand. Thank God for the nurses because I don't think I would have gotten through myself. I mean every time I needed anything they were like right on it. She had no support here. Her family was out of town. Her husband was down in Iowa City so we had to be um, the people she relied on and talked to and felt like she could talk to them and you know ask simple requests and give her the support she needed. They said you can't make any definitive statements in yeah. this profession, mm -hmm. but they're, what they're seeing is there's going to be no long-term effects yeah, that for Gwen. Very confident that there's no long-term effects. For where she's at now compared to how sick she was mm -hmm. is like incredible. Yeah. Like it's, it's just insane. You know, everybody keeps using the word miracle. We've never heard of such a situation happening. It was unbelievable, but so amazing to hear. The nurses needed this good outcome. They needed to know that their efforts helped this baby. You know, we don't forget about our patients. I'm sure that every single one of these, um, they, every single one of these nurses has been thinking about this family since the day it happened. And they'll never forget about that. They'll never forget Tracy or the baby's name, Gwendolyn. They'll never forget anything like that. This will stick in their minds forever.